our burrito. UCF is uniquely situated to lead the charge in urban ecology. We have a major metropolitan university abutted against 800 acres of well-managed natural lands on the outskirts of the Gemini Boulevard Loop. In the transitional space, we have the eight-acre Arboretum Public Garden and the 80-acre Arboretum Proper. In our two on-campus dining halls, 63 South and Nitros, once students are done with their food, they place their plates on a conveyor belt. And this AI-powered technology called Raccoonize scans images of these plates and identifies what types of foods have been wasted. This cutting-edge AI technology uses camera vision to capture images of food waste on plates. An interactive dashboard right next to the dish return allows the opportunity for students to provide feedback on food quality. The insights gathered by the technology help UCF Dining Services improve portion sizes, optimize menu planning, and improve overall sustainability efforts. Since the pilot program launched in March 2024, UCF has diverted over 65,000 pounds of food waste from the landfill. Waste from food preparation, as well as students' plates, are placed into bins provided by our community partner, O-Town Compost. O-Town Compost takes food waste from UCF, as well as other Central Florida communities, and converts it into usable compost. Through this partnership, the Arboretum Community Farm and Garden gets compost every semester, which is then put back into the soil. The harvest from the community farm and garden goes back to Knight's Helping Knight's Pantry. The AI technology and the composting program are part of a suite of initiatives to make UCF dining more sustainable. Here at the Arboretum's Community Garden, we grow all types of things, sort of depending on the season. Right now, we're growing tons of leafy greens, so collard greens and kale. In the past month, we've been able to harvest roughly 60 pounds of produce to help support the pantry. As the Urban Agriculture Coordinator in the Learning by Leading program, I've learned a ton, especially majoring in environmental studies. I've had a lot of hands-on experience with plant care and different methods of gardening, and the program has definitely sharpened my leadership skills. The only way the UCF Arboretum Community Garden can thrive is through passionate student volunteers like my friends here. Our dining halls here on campus divert their food waste through their partnership with O-Town Compost, and that finished compost comes back to the garden. We use it in our soil to help grow future crops. An apiary, or the bee yard where we keep and manage all of our honeybee hives, are important to have on campus because it's a experiential learning opportunity for students. It's a source of research for master's students, undergrad students, and doctoral students, and they're important pollinators on campus. Within the Arboretum, our bees help pollinate our community garden. All of the crops there are then donated to the Knights Helping Knights Pantry for our students. Also, the local pollinators help pollinate all of the vegetation around campus and the 800 acres of natural space. I also communicate with the Arboretum Beekeeping Club to organize student volunteers, take them out here, and have that hands-on teaching experience for them. The Arboretum goals with the hives are to provide environmental education to students about beekeeping and the importance of pollinators. We provide a resource opportunity for research, and we further highlight the importance of urban agriculture and how possible it is to have agriculture in an urban space such as UCF. The UCF Arboretum and Sustainability Initiatives is a great way for students to gain internship experience through the Learning by Leading program. I'm here at the park almost every weekday with my student interns working on the maintenance of the park. We do weeding in our gardens as well as invasive removal in other areas like this native pollinator garden. And we remulch the mulch paths with our volunteers. And I also communicate with student organizations about any events they would like to put on here or any projects they'd like to assist us with in our gardens. The biggest goal we have for the park moving forward is to continue to enhance our landscape with more more gardens, keeping it a nice transition between the urban area on campus and the natural lands across from Gemini Boulevard. Welcome to the UCF Arboretum's Greenhouse. I'm the coordinator of the plant production team, which has the opportunity to work out of the greenhouse. I run an intern group that gets to come here multiple times a week and kind of work on the plants in there. Our day to day looks like we'll come in and we'll inspect the plants, kind of see what needs to be done. So whether plants need to be repotted, whether we need to uh, trim off some parts that aren't looking so good. We'll also look at what plants that we can propagate. 
So the plant production team has the opportunity to work with the urban agriculture team, which is the farm team, to create produce that then will be given back to the students via Knight's Pantry. So our role in that is we seed all of the produce in little seed trays, and then once it gets bigger, we transport it to a little bigger trays, and then they become starts, and at that point, the starts can be transported to the farm, where they get put in all the farm beds, and then from there, the farm team is able to nurture and grow those plants, and then all that produce goes back to Knight's Pantry, so all the students have access to free produce. The Stormwater Compliance and Maintenance Team's mission statement is to protect our waterways, maintain our ecosystems, and to educate the public on stormwater pollution prevention. One of the main responsibilities that our team at the Stormwater Compliance and Maintenance is tasked with is keeping up with the adopt -a program on campus. Our adopt -a program consists of 23 organizations. They are assigned either a road or a pond, depending on their preference, and we essentially keep up to date with them. We make sure that they're doing their required cleanups. We make sure that they're filling out the correct paperwork and that they're providing the evidence that they need. The work that we do extends far beyond the Arboretum. You can find us all over campus inspecting the roads, the inlets, the dumpsters, or the pumps. You can also find us all over campus educating other students, faculty, and staff on stormwater prevention. Did you know we have bats here in the UCF Arboretum? Every October, we highlight them at our spectacular event. At sunset, they fly out from their moist environment into the night. We highlight them using red lights that are better for their vision, but allow us to see them. As the Education and Outreach Coordinator, part of my job is to train students about the bats so that they can educate the public at events like Spooktacular. The goal of the Education and Outreach team is to promote environmental literacy and sustainability education throughout UCF. I work with a team of students to develop educational materials like brochures and web pages, as well as experiences like workshops and events so that we can promote the Arboretum and everything we do on campus. My favorite part of my job is I get to work with experts in their field like UCF faculty and professors to help me educate the public on different sustainability initiatives. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of the UCF Arboretum and sustainability initiatives. Go Knights, charge on.